What up, David here with more Super Mario World. We are in the Vanilla Dome. We are actually on top of the Vanilla Dome and somehow we're just hovering in this weird water patch and there's just a castle chilling on a lake. That's just strange to me. All right, well, let's go inside. What could this place be like? Oh, okay, I went inside a door and I ended up in a pipe and now I'm underwater. Is this fortress underwater? That's really cool. You gotta think of the world building, man. That'd be a cool art project. To kind of like draw the Super Mario World like areas, but like realist, not realistic, but you know, like if they were in like, let's say Paper Mario or something, that'd be really cool to just kind of flesh out the worlds. Okay, I guess I'm not going in that pipe though. Oh, I don't know if I can kill you. Oh, I can't, I can't. Oh man, I, you see that was the risk. I was trying to get away from him after, but I failed. Do I get a mulligan? Yeah, there we go. Thank you. See, I learned, and then the game rewarded me for being curious by giving me a mulligan. Oh, God! And then I got boned. Alright, I see you guys. I see you fallen. Oh, there's a bony beetle there. Really cool enemy that came back in Paper Mario. Ugh. I think that was why I loved Paper Mario so much. It brought back a lot of world enemies, and World was my first Mario game. <sighs> How's that thwomp even breathing? Then again, I think thwomps are... Sorry, thwomps are actually... I don't know if they're living, technically. I think in the old, old Mario manual for... When did they first appear? Mario 3? I think... What it said was that Thwomps were stone ghosts, if I'm correct. So they're actually dead. Put that in your cereal and, and eat it. Oh gosh. Ah! Wow, I just realized I went backwards. That's kind of cool. It gave me a reward though, which is nice. Alright, Thwomp. Uh, th yeah, let's go. Mm. 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 I'm not gonna get boned again. I got a cape. I'm not afraid to use it. Actually, no, I am afraid to use it because nothing gets hit by it. Oh, you do. Ah, and you do as well. Okay, this is our first fortress. Guess who the boss of the fortress is? It is Trent Reznor! Now, you take out two, you take out two Triceratopses, and then things just start getting crazy. But, now I'm on the thing. I'm the captain now. Goodbye. Reznor is a cool boss. I just love it in concept. Because remember, this is Dinosaur Island, or Dinosaur World, or whatever the hell it's called. And, you know, it makes sense that, like, some enemies are allies with you, or, or some characters are allies with you, like Yoshi, and some are allies with Bowser, like Reznor. It's cool to me. Now, we have unlocked Butterbridge, which is technically not part of the Vanilla Dome, although I think it kind of is, honestly. But we're not gonna do it right now, because we left some unfinished business in the dome. How did they get Trent Reznor underground, is what I want to know. Or underwater. Oh, that's so cool, it's like an underwater fortress. You know, y you see these things as a kid, you're like, oh, it's just a castle on a lake. But now that I'm like looking at this, I'm like, I think the premise is that the castle is underwater. You know, the outdoor area notwithstanding. <laughs> Alright, well, look at that foreboding black background. Who puts a castle in a dome anyway? Oh gosh! To be fair, they put a fortress on the dome and a castle in the dome. Oh god, this is bad. Oh, oh, that's actually good! Oh, I'm actually really- uh, I'm really mad I missed my mushroom, but I'm really glad I got hit because I was going to do this. Yeah, like, <laughs> I was gonna do that the whole way through. Which was just unnecessarily... Uh, tedious. Oh, I think it spawns... there. Okay. So how do I- Oh no! Get out of here! Oh, uh, no! Magic Koopa. I bet it's Kamek. It's totally Kamek. Oh gosh. I don't like you. Yeah, so the Magic Koopas, they kind of infinitely spawn themselves. I forgot what's in that warp pipe, but I think it's cool. Oh my. 
You know, I almost did something awesome and I did something awful, but you know what, it's fine because I was kind of being brazen because I want to try to get that, that thing. Uh, okay, and now we can show off how you need to get... Uh, Mr. Man. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's not good. Spawn below, thank you. Yeah, you're actually supposed to do this. Ah! Uh, don't. Okay. Alright, I want this. Okay, so now let's get that P-switch and try to do this right. Oh, no! Oh, come on. No, no, don't you dare! Oh. oh. Okay, here we go. What I didn't want him to do was break that, which was my only way of getting... No! Oh, come on. Oh, this sucks. This sucks. Oh, wait, this rocks! No, let me, let, let me, let, oh, do, da. <laughs> all right, fine. Okay, you know what, that means I'm gonna go brazenly again. <laughs> I did not mean to do that, that was horribly timing. Oh, that was horrible timing. I meant to, I did mean to hit the jump button there. I did not do that on purpose. I know I'm not gonna convince at least half of you. Okay, oh God. Why would he spawn, right? Oh, he did it again. Little dick! Get, get, get me down here. I don't like Magic Koopa. He sucks. He's not a fun human to deal with. You know, this is bring this is bringing back memories of me trying to do this actually. Okay, here's what I want to do. That is not what I wanted to do. It's really not what I want to do. You really did not need. I did. I did not need you to spawn there. Oh, I got on top of it. Okay, here we go. Okay, so now what I want to do is collect... Okay, that's what I kind of wanted to do. Oh, get out of here! Stop! Oh my god, they're breaking my way in. Oh no! God! Oh god! Oh my god. I hate these things! Oh my god, get out of here! Son of a goddamn... Alright. Oh my god, these are the worst enemies on the planet! I need that block there! <sighs> okay. Dude, get out of here. No, don't you- Oh my god, I thought he- I thought he was gonna- Okay. I need- No, don't- Don't- Oh, no! I hate this man. I hate this man. Hate him! How am I supposed to... I see a way. I see a way. Stop spawning, damn it! Oh my god. I fell too low. No. Oh, okay. Oh my god. I'm gonna burn that wizard. I'm gonna put your mom in the guillotine. What's cool is that I did think I saw a cool way of doing this, and it's a lot easier than my crazy brain was trying to do it. God damn it, get out of my life. That's what I wanted. Okay. I think I can do this way better now. Oh my god, that's so easy. How did I not think about that? I'll take it. Was that all that was? Okay, fine. You know what? It was worth it. No, it wasn't. It was really not. <laughs> oh, lordy. So now I'm back here. Well, I got a checkpoint, which is kind of nice. It's kind of precious, don't you think? Never have to deal with Kamek ever again. I'm pretty sure <laughs> there are other levels with Magic Koopas. Die. Hmm. 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 Alright, I know there are dragon coins out and about, but I don't even care. In case it wasn't obvious, I'm over this level. Oh god, how did I do that? I know. Let's go. Alright, let's go. Ho oh, ho, feeling saucy. A saucy little kitten. Alright, let's go. Come on. I see dry bones. So, 
You know, I had a thought because, uh, you know, I, uh, playing this game is kind of, you know, giving me the feels, giving me the memories again. And I had a thought for the question of the day. Did you ever play the Game Boy Advance ports of Mario 2, Doki Doki Mario 2, Mario 3, and Mario World? I actually had- oh, god damn it. Oh, no! Oh. Lemmy, 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 Lemmy Adam. <laughs> oh, wrong one. Oh, <gasps> Lemmy killed me with his goddamn ass. They made ports of Super Mario Bros. 3, Bros. 2, Doki Doki Bros. 2, oh god, and World, and they were called Super Mario Advance. Super Mario Advance 1, which was the Doki Doki thing, Mario Advance 2, which was 3, I actually had that wrong. Mario Advance 2 was the one based on a world, and Mario Advance 3 was the one based on Super Mario Bro- Oh my god. Mario Advance 3 was the one based on Super Mario Brothers 3. Jesus Christ. Okay. I know that was dangerous, but I needed to get away from that dry bones. It was causing problems with my life and my health. <sighs> Let's go. And yeah, those games were so dope. It was one of the first times I was like, they changed the games from the originals kind of substantially. Again, it was a port, so like, they, the level design was kept, but they did a lot of interesting things, like, they gave Mario voice clips, and Luigi voice clips, like, and they gave Luigi, like, his own type of jump animation and jump style. He had, like, the flutter jump for the first time, I think, in those games. And, you know, like, every time Mario would get a power-up, he was like, Whoo, just what I needed. Or, lucky, when he gets a life or something. And I thought those versions of the games had so much charm and personality, and I always wanted to play the Super Mario Advanced 1, the one based on the Doki Doki, because I think they added a lot of stuff in that one. Boss-wise, and, like, you know, game-wise. They even gave the, the, the bosses voice clips, I think. So, it, it seemed like a really fun port. And I was always curious about it because, uh, I was, I mean, I shouldn't say I was curious about it, I actually had Super Mario Advance 2, the one based on World. It was so d fun. And each one of them also had a copy of Super Mario, or, like, Super, they had a copy of Mario Brothers, the arcade game, before even Super Mario World. And that... That was really fun because, you know, it had, like, the phases, like, the do 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 <laughs> and, and, and I thought that was fun. I love the various animations for Mario destroying the castles here. Mario has triumphed over Lemmy Koopa of castle number three. Mario's quest is starting to get much more difficult. Have you found the red and green switches yet? I have, strange narrator. I have indeed. So, we've completely decimated the dome. And now, we're gonna go up to the cheese bridge but don't don't worry i i don't i didn't forget about butter bridge because what a bridge is butter bridge am i right these levels are going to be hard i actually really like them it's kind of this game's version of sky levels but there's only a couple of them but i really do like the bridge levels in this game and so the <clears throat> The, what you call it the the Game Boy Advance ports of these games I thought they were really cool and I always wanted to play that that one but the other thing is like they were like popular like in a almost like mainstream sense too because like man they had McDonald's toys for those things there were commercials for them there was like a lot of fun stuff so I was curious if you ever if any of y'all played those games because they I think were a big childhood staple for a lot of people Oh, yeah, Yoshi can actually take those to the sky. Those are a uh, fun, random set of floating wings. And I, I used to have, like, guide... Like, I would read the strategy guide... Not strategy guides, but um, the manuals for those games and look at the artwork. Really cool stuff. And they came out with, like, fun things, too. Like, I think I had, like, a portrait... Or not a portrait, but like a poster of like Bowser from his like in his like Super Mario World pose, which 
Oh, yeah. If I had a Yoshi, I could do some fun stuff there. I gotta remember that. Oh, wait, no, I can't actually. It just gives you like a funky exit because I believe... Oh, wait, no, 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 I, I'm correct. It is a second exit. We gotta do that, but I need a Yoshi to do it, so... Cookie Mountain? Don't mind if I do. Let's indulge. And not bite into the train. Ah, oh, Sumo Bro! Made an appearance in Paper Mario the Origami King, which is awesome. I loved seeing him again. I, like, forgot he existed. But this is where he- Oh my god, Gopher! Get out of here. Yes, I know it's a Monty Mole. But, uh, <laughs> what can I say? He really- He was really the kind of guy to go for it, if you know what I mean. Alright. Let's go. Kill you. I love the cape so much sometimes. Ooh, what's up here? Anything fancy? I think? A life. Okay, great. I think I can actually go down this pipe. And I want to say it gives me a ton of coins. Or not. It's a completely different thing I was thinking of. Oh gosh, moles! Moles be damned! A lot of moles in there. Oh. Hmm. Oh god damn it, mole! The silhouette! Okay, let's go. Yeah, they, 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 they shoot fire. Or actually, I don't know what it is. I think they shoot a lightning bolt into the ground and then it turns into fire. Okay, I think... Oh. I could really use a Yoshi. Oh, gosh. That was a blind jump, I realized. Where am I? What is going- Why am I going backwards? I don't like that. Oh my, hello! You are a salty! See, okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay, okay. Oh my gosh. Oh, why am I- Why am I dealing with these? Why am I dealing with these right now? This is not what I wanted to do with my day. God damn it, that was obnoxious. That's a trolley pipe if I ever saw one. That was a really trolley pipe. I love that, actually. <laughs> oh god, mega- Mega moles. Yeah, I love this pipe. This pipe is a dick. So let's go- Oh yes! I want to hang on to you for Butter Bridge. That'll be very useful. Or was it Cheese Bridge? Yeah, it was Cheese Bridge. Oh, thank you. I'm going to take all your coins. Yes! Okay, things are looking up in the world. These coins are so happy to see me. They look like little chicken nuggets. Alright. I don't know why I'm going down, trying to go down these pipes. I kind of want to get everything here. Are you going to give me life? If I get all these? <gasps> Thank you! Get out of here. Oh god, oh god. Whoa, how did I get rid of that other one? How did I get rid of that other sumo bro? <gasps> no, 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 you are... That man was jumping at me! Do not approve of that. Not kosher. Not okay. I'm gonna get my lawyer to file a restraining order against him. And bam! Look at that. I always love this. You get access to the fourth castle right away. Right after Lemmy if you just kind of go through stuff. But of course we're not gonna do that yet. Cheese bridge area. Let's go with the Yoshter and take the wings. I mean, those were not the wings. The wings aren't until a little bit later, actually. <laughs> okay, I gotta get not overzealous, though, because these saws can make your life problematic. Okay, but I think I can... Oh, gosh! You see what I mean? You see what I mean? I got overzealous, and I almost died. Or I almost lost Yoshi, which is the whole damn reason I'm here. I really should just calm my ass. Uh, so, damn it, I try not to use the Fowler tongue in these videos. Can I do this? Oh my god, did it let me? <gasps> Thank you, game. You are amazing. And you know what I'm gonna do? This. <laughs> Actually, that was a bad idea. That was a really bad idea. I did not think I was gonna get on that. Let's do it again. <laughs> I am causing all sorts of problems for myself today. Jeez. Oh god, I did it again. Okay, you know what? Fine. 
I have one platform, and I'm gonna ride it. I'm gonna ride it like I'm riding this Yoshi. You know, if Yoshi's... Technically, I'm riding Yoshi, and Yoshi's riding the platform. So am I even riding the platform? I'm technically not even touching it. I am currently separated from the platform that's keeping me alive right now. All that separates me from it is just a squishy, cuddly, lovable dinosaur. Alright, are we good? Yes! Alright. So now, wings! Haha! Oh, Yoshi, you turned to blue. That's pretty cool. Okay, so we gotta watch out for the fuzzykins. They're all over the place. Where are these fuzzies coming from? Where do they reproduce? Do they have a nest? Do they reproduce sexually? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Let's go. I'm clearly not gonna go after all these dragon coins, because they uh, will not make my life fun. Okay, I can go down. You could technically fall at any time. I didn't think you were gonna take me- <gasps> Wait, I have Yoshi? I have a blue Yoshi from that? Oh my god, that's awesome! That's really cool, but I actually need this Yoshi for something. Let's get to the end of this level. I don't know how cheesable this level is. I'm gonna try to cheese it though, honestly, because... I don't want to deal with problems. And I sure as heck don't want to deal with those two pufferfish. So we're gonna try to go across the entire level. Can I jump on you? Yes! Yes! That's how you do it. Boom. Okay, is that cheating? You bet. <gasps> oh, I really don't want to lose the Yoshi. It's a blue Yoshi, and blue Yoshis are so handy and very rare. But basically, anytime you consume a Koopa, you get powers. And I didn't really show this off. If you, if a regular Yoshi, green Yoshi, eats a red-shelled Koopa, it can spit out three fireballs. If it eats a yellow-shelled Koopa and holds it in its mouth, it can actually create little shockwaves. A blue one will actually give it wings, and it can fly indefinite- well, yeah, yeah, indefinitely. It can, like, hover and stuff. But, what I'm gonna do is say goodbye to that one, because I guess I'm a psycho. And we got a 3-up moon. You don't see those very often. They're very rare. The 3-up moons, uh, obviously give you 3 lives. But I'm really upset that I had to get rid of that Yoshi. I didn't know you get it that- that way. That's a really cool secret. And Soda Lake! We're going to Soda Lake. <laughs> um, I will do one thing. Fix my camera. Just had to reset it, because it was starting to get a little bit of a long camera recording. But, this level introduces Torpedo Ted! You thought you knew Bullet Bill, and, well, that's Torpedo Ted, and I did not mean to let him hit me. That's fine, we got a flower. Flowers are actually pretty useful underwater, because you can get rid of uh, fish. God damn it, Mickey Mouse, stop throwing this crap at me. <laughs> I love that cartoon ass hand. All right, let's go. No, no, Torpedo Ted. I love their, oh no, oh, that was not good. I love their, oh, yeah! I love their animation. Oh my God, they don't wait for you at all. I love their animation of like, slowly like ramping up speed when they get deployed. It's really cool. I love this enemy. Oh, God! Torpedo Ted is not my friend. This is kind of a cool level. Oh, no, 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 don't die! Oh, God. That, I thought I was straight up gonna eat it there. Uh, no, 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 no. No, you are not. Okay, what happens if I just follow the coins? Yeah, that, that was actually pretty smart. Alright, um, can I thread the needle? Yes. I don't know why I got that. I totally missed others, I'm sure. Alright, here come the Teds. Here come the Teds. Oh, they're coming! Jeez. Oh, they just keep coming. They won't stop coming. Forgot the rest of the lyrics to that song, but whatever. I don't even know if that's a song. Blurps! A wall of them. Oh, God! Damn it. Fish. Well placed fish, actually. Okay, these guys. 
Oh my god, it's the alternating hands. That sucks so much. Okay, oh, they're not going to the ground, which is nice. Still terrifying as all get out. Oh No! Ted! Do not like that. They're mean. Soda Lake is a dangerous place. <laughs> I think that's the only level that has torpedo Ted's. Maybe there's like one other one, but... I think, yeah. It's really cool. And, once again, we get a path to Star Road, which I said I was gonna show you, and uh, for some reason I still feel obligated to not show you. <laughs> so now, we've done a lot. I've died a lot. So, I don't know how long this one is. We didn't really complete a lot of levels. I do want to beat up Ludwig, or Ludwig, but we need to be at Butterbridge, and of course, if there's a Butterbridge 1, you betcha there's gonna be a Butterbridge 2, because Butterbridge is a long bridge, and it's very dangerous, and I'll show you why in the next episode, because we will take on the Butterbridge, both of them, and Ludwig in the next episode. So, thanks so much for watching, make sure to like this video if you like this video, subscribe if you haven't, smack the bell so you never miss a thing, consider supporting me on Patreon, thank you fill in the blanks and Bladed Cross for supporting me on Patreon, and thank you if you're still watching this video even past my outro, just Thanks if you've been watching this series, because this game means a lot to me, and I know this isn't the wildest series that I've done, and also, like, it's kind of a placeholder because I'm trying to get the whole Danganronpa thing uh, going on, but also, I, by the time this video is uploaded, I'm either on my vacation or back from my vacation, so, and I recorded all these in one shot, but I just want you to know I really appreciate you watching, and I really hope you're enjoying the content so far. I'm trying to always do interesting things, and sometimes I can't really turn things out as fast as I would like with my other job. So, just know I love you all so much, and for a game like this especially, if you're watching a generic game that there's a thousand Let's Plays on YouTube for, I really appreciate you stopping by to choose mine, so... Have a great one, and I'll see you in the next episode.